So on a monthly calendar, you often have missing missing days, and time doesn't really work like that. Also, why is Saturday and Sunday on opposite ends of the week? They're, you know, mentally much more together. And so what if the calendar was five days and then two weekend days and then another five days and then another two weekend days? That way you have two weeks at a time. Two rows of two weeks makes a month, roughly, and then all the way down. And the only really kind of important thing to poke out a little is the first of the month. And so really what you get is the first day of the year is up here and then it goes all the way down and the very last day of the year is on the bottom. Also seeing the entire year ahead of you is, is a bit motivating in the sense that it doesn't look like that much time. And so as a result, you end up, um, you know, kind of like moving a bit.